Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about Archcraft Distro, a distro that based on top of Arch Linux, but anyone barely talks about it. It's a window manager based and lightweight distro. And especially those who don't want to configure their RC Linux but wants to have a good window manager, you know, pre-configured or wants to configure it, I feel this is a perfect distro for them. You can literally get a best out of the window manager experience. And uh, this is the Archcraft that I was talking about. So this distro is made by this guy called Aditya Shakka. So you can check him on this uh, GitHub page, right? They have a pretty good collection of window managers and flavors. For example, they have like open box. This is their open box. They have BSPWM. They have DWM. They have i3 window manager. Xmonad, Harv's Loft Window Manager, Berry Window Manager, they have you know Fluxbox, Sway, Wayfire, Hyperland, and I guess they also have Rive. You know river this is the river and a uh, new window manager right so they have these window managers so i don't think uh, you will be left out with any of others so this is pretty awesome actually uh this is out of the box works great so about the installation part is like installing archcraft is very simple and easy you go to the download section right and download the latest iso make it archcraft bootable pen drive using bella nature and install it post installation you land directly into either you know open box or bspwm it comes with a pretty awesome pre-configured setup although like so you won't have to worry about the configuration that much at all it's like right now i'm having this is you can see this is pretty much the you know uh pre-configured so i barely haven't configured anything and this is working fine like i've been using this for a month or so and it's quite awesome like this is second time i'm using it uh i was using it eight months back and this is pretty good i'll show you how you can install other window managers offered by this archcraft uh this also comes pre-configured with ea uh, which is arch user repository manager right to install any other you know uh window manager because uh when you install it it will only comes with uh, open bsp and uh, i mean the open box and the bsp wm to install any other for example you wants to install dwm or xmonad or you know i3 berry fluxbox or whatever uh what do you need to do you need to do ea right you do archcraft and then uh dash and then your uh you know window manager name for example if you want to do dwm you will just say dwm if it's xmonad you will do xmonad right now i'm like using the dwm as of now but uh based upon your choice you can select one so you can also do i3 window manager right and it will easily come up here so you can install it right i'll show you that uh, i have dwm right now so if i do archcraft dwm it's installed so right now i'm having also this terminal uh, i'm using right now right this is you can see that uh, right now i'm using dwm and the terminal is i'm using st which is also coming as a pre-configured maybe uh, many people might not like it but for those who like wants to have a pretty good setup without even like working for it i feel this is very awesome so and then you need to log out and then you know log in your newly installed pre-configured window manager and to log out you just need to hold mod key and mod key and then press x so this will bring up this menu right this is actually rofi they are using rofi for that and then you click on this this is the logout button this is shutdown right i mean lock this is the lock and this is uh shutdown reboot and hypernet right i mean the sleep so like you log out and then uh, select that 
so now i'll talk about the features like what it provides right now i'm using dwm window manager which is inspired by chad window manager and i'm pretty happy with it i like you can see my current setup i have modified a little bit of the icons here according to my preferences and some display related adjustment actually you can also find the key binding specific to a window manager in their website you can find it all the you know key bindings in their github and websites for example like if you are using bspwm you can find all the key bindings over here for dwms and i3 xmonad berry flux blocks sway wayfair and all other stuff so that's pretty awesome right and also they have some issues but uh for a pretty like pre-configuration it's quite obvious that they might have some issues not so much but if you're using dual monitor then probably you might face some issues for example the polyver might not work properly for example in bspwm and xmonad the polyver acts weirdly but definitely you can fix it by changing the config files specific to that window manager and actually i wanted to use dwm for dwm i never faced that issue so i didn't have to worry about that also they use h set root which is a you know tool in arch linux to set wallpaper which restores the basic wallpaper everything when every time when i you know reboot your system so i'll show show you that quickly uh i'll just go to ranger and here in the uh you know user share archcraft dwm slash bin slash auto start dot shell here you can find this uh, line number 29 where it is set as h set root i have actually commented this line and added these three lines because uh the first one relates to my display because i'm using a you know a monitor so for that i had to make this adjustment uh it was actually the issue was left and right so fix that also i used uh nitrogen instead of h set root that fixes the issue that i wanted to fix uh like the wallpaper default wallpaper instead of default wallpaper i want you know random wallpapers that i have in my collection wallpaper collection so that's maybe you also face this issue so just wanted to you know show it to you and uh this is ranger by the way uh it comes pre-configured also so like a lot of the things that comes pre-configured and pretty it's pretty awesome and also this is the menu uh this is also by rofi right it's pretty awesome so yeah like the i would highly you know encourage you to check out this distro i'm sure you won't be disappointed let me know your thoughts down in the comment section so that's it for the video bye